Yo guys, what's going on? I'm back with some more gameplay. Now, we got some more Chaos Mon Yellow. I'm really liking this deck, and uh, maybe the last video was just kind of too much of a one-sided game, so hopefully this gives you a better idea of just how the deck functions and, you know, more potential options when we do end up getting um, Chaos Mon and some of the newer uh, starter deck cards. Um, I am playing against a green deck. Uh, this is, I would say, like an Imperial Dramon, uh, Hercules, Kabuteri Mon uh, green deck. He's playing a lot of the new starter deck cards, some BT4 cards, and um, just a very powerful deck. Um, I, I believe green, like, honestly, coming out of BT4, green is going to be the best deck. Not only do they now have access to two very powerful um, level 7s, but also just hidden potential is such an obscenely, like, oppressive card, honestly. Being able to cheat 5 memory off, uh, it's not once per turn, you can run 4 of that security effect lets you add it to your hand um so yeah i digress <laughs> this um this is this video uh well let's show you kind of how powerful green can be and uh may maybe let's see let's see what we can do against this deck so he's gonna start off um he has a dino beamon already in his raising area so that's kind of an issue especially because dino beamon not only has piercing but it does actually have jamming as well um, so he, he is going to bring that out. I do have a Tururimon and a Unimon on my side of the field with some solid inheritable effects. I got uh, two Labramons underneath each of those, I think. Um, unfortunately, don't have like a Wargreymon um, or any other like Megas I could Digivolve into. So we're just really going to have to start digging, hopefully get a Chaosmon. Um, and something like that now <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have any rookies. Uh, you did see the Salamon there in the raising or sorry in the trash um, From the security, so I'm just going to put down Gatomon and then hopefully I'll be able to digivolve next turn if he doesn't kill me now if we see a flower cannon or something that is going to be unfortunate because this Imperial Dramon, uh, this is a green Imperial Dramon. He has an effect where whenever you do end up destroying a Digimon in battle, you can actually uh, make him active. Uh, so that's kind of crazy, especially because he does have piercing and he's 12,000. Uh, plus, I believe he has Agumon and Minomon underneath. Um, so he's just going to get a lot of attacks. So yeah, he's going to Flower Cannon. Um, me there and then just going to attack over my bunny and Imperial Dramon does have piercing so he's going to run into a Magna Dramon but like I said he has those inheritable effects uh, where um, he does actually get the attack gain so I'm already down to two security and it is not looking good for me he's got a Kabuterimon in the back that is the starter deck Kabuterimon a one to Digivolve for a blocker is awesome and he's just going to put down a Wormon and leave me with three memory. Now, I am going to play my Magna Dramon and get plus two recovery, recovery plus two. So, leaving me at four security cards, uh, which is fine. Um, if he does have another flower cannon, he's actually, he's probably going to be able to, you know, get rid of all those security cards, but he's just going to run into a War Greymon in security. Now, Warmon does have the effect where you get to reveal the top three cards of your deck whenever it's destroyed, and I believe add a... Um, four higher, or four or five Digimon, level four or five Digimon from those revealed cards to your hand. So he's going to add the Stingmon there. And he does have eight memory, so he could do a lot. I honestly do not think I can win this one unless I draw a Chaos Mon because I did play my Magna Dramon, so I'm set up with that. And then maybe if I draw a Rookie, that would be nice too. <laughs> I could get some draws off of the Tokemon there, but he's just going to Digivolve up into his Dino Beamon, uh, leaving him with three memory. He did actually play the Ken too. Uh, Ken has an effect where if you do destroy a Digimon via battle, you can actually rest him and gain one memory. So he is going to Digivolve that Hercules Kabuterimon there. Now, this is a, a this is a problem. I've got to face down two extremely powerful um, Megas right here. I did draw into Chaos Mon, and I have the Andrew Mon in case I want to do some recovery shenanigans as well. Um, so that is awesome. Now, the thing is here, I don't know whether to get rid of the Hercules or the Imperial Dramon. It probably would have been better to get rid of Imperial Dramon, because he does have the potential to attack twice, but that means he would have had to Flower Cannon me. Um, actually, no. So, he could, he could, if I had left them both on the field, he could have, you know, Hercules, Kabuteri Mon, rested something. I just think Hercules is kind of the bigger threat here. I really don't want him to rest any of my Digimon. Um, because he's just going to be able to run them over. Um, so I'm just going to Digivolve into Chaos Mon and then destroy that. And I'm going to get a draw off of the Labramon here. So now my hand is looking much better. I've got another Chaos Mon, uh, Magna Anjmon, in case I want to recover some more. And I'm back at 3 security. So this is nice. He's going to play Stingmon. 
um, and then leaving me with one memory, and I don't, I still don't have any rookies. I did draw War Greymon, so that is nice, but with only one memory, I'm not going to be able to attack this turn, and leaving me, like, you know, I have to take off a security card and add it to my hand for War Greymon's effect, uh, so it, it's kind of a double-edged sword. It is a very good card. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to Digivolve into him because I know, I know even though I, I'll have to get rid of one of my own security, I have the Chaos Mon, so I can just attack a couple times and Digivolve Chaos Mon and get rid of, um, that Imperial Dramon. So he's actually going to attack my Chaos Mon. Now, Chaos Mon has an effect where if he is deleted, you get to gain three memory, so I'm going to gain three, but he does have the Ken, so he's going to gain one from that, so it's actually going to leave him at zero. So he's going to be able to attack again with the Imperial Dramon. Um, and then he is just going to digivolve that Stingmon into Dino Beamon, leaving me with three memory. Now, here I should have just, well, I don't even know if I should have. I knew he was playing Imperial Dramon and Hercules, so he's playing a lot of very powerful Digimon. It might not have been the best idea to attack with War Greymon like you'll see me do in a second. I could have just digivolved into Chaos Mon and gotten rid of his Imperial Dramon. Um, but even then, like, I, it, it would have, like, I, now I'm at zero security. Um, it, it could have, like, it could have still not worked out for me because he does have the Dino B and the Palmon in the back, but I'm going to run into a Hercules Cobbeterimon. So now not only do I, uh, lose a security card, but now I don't have the opportunity to go into Chaos Mon. Um, so yeah, that, I, I, I think that was a misplay. It honestly would have been better to just, uh, Digivolve into Chaos Mon, but I couldn't have known that War Greymon was going to die. Now, 11,000 is still pretty strong, so that's why I thought I would be safe. Anyways, I'm going to Digivolve into Andromon and just hopefully have some sort of opportunity to do something. And then I could hard play Unimon here. That's, uh, that would save me. Um, however, if, if he was, like, he would have to just attack with, like, Imperial Dramon, um, first... Um, because, like, he could, like, if he, if he does do that, he could just, you know, like, attack with Palmon, and then I block, and then he attacks Imperial Dramon, and then he kills my Unimon, and then attacks again, and I lose. So I'm just going to play the Magna Anjumon. If he has Flower Cannon, uh, I'm screwed either way, but he's just going to Digivolve into that Pyel Dramon there, and then draw a card off of that, and then now we're facing down two Imperial Dramons. So he's got, uh, two extremely powerful Digimon, and then he will be able to gain one memory if... Um, you know, if he ends up resting something, but he doesn't need to because he's just going to be able to attack. That Imperial Dramon is going to die to my Chaos Mon, but it doesn't matter because the one that's on the field can actually attack two times because uh, the Pyel Dramon underneath them has that inherited effect. So that is going to be game one. Uh, quite a scary deck. Honestly, Hercules and Imperial Dramon are just both super powerful Digimon, and having to face down multiple Digimon with piercing and that can restand themselves and rest my Digimon is just a lot to deal with. So I'm just going to Digimon evolve into the Salomon, that is the Salomon with the um, inherited effect where I can reduce something by 1000, um, So I and then I'm just going to play the Patamon straight from my hand. So we're going to see Aminomon, and then Agumon, and a Stingmon, and here, this is the thing about green, is like they have so many good low cost options. Stingmon is a one to Digivolve, and he has an amazing inherited effect. No other color has access to that, and I just think it's insane. So, I'm going to move out the Pal- uh, not the Palmon. Well, what is this? Salomon? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any level 4s now. Previous game, I didn't have any rookies. Now, I don't have any level 4s. So, uh, also, the Chaos Mon is dead in my hand. So, <laughs> I'm just going to play the Siren Mon and just try to, um, get a lot of bodies on the field. Uh, so if I do end up just want to, like, rush him, then I can. Um, but now he's just going to put down an Imperial Dramon on top of that Dino B and then probably just attack here. Uh, he can't Flower Cannon me because he does only have one memory, so that's nice at least. But he's just going to run into the Unimon and then play that Palmon straight from his hand. Alright, finally I draw a Gatomon, so that's nice. And then I'm going to Digivolve Salomon here. So now it looks like I'm back in the game with um, a variety of cards in my hand. Now I just need a War Greymon or a Magnadramon to seal the deal. Uh, so I could probably Gatomon here and then Magna Anjumon because I don't want an Anjumon. I don't want to waste her. Um, because I do have that four security, not the three. So Unimon, yeah, Unimon might also be a good option here in case he does want to attack with the Palmon, but again, I might not block with the Unimon because he does have Imperial Dramon, and that card really punishes you for blocking. Like, if, if he's smart, he'll attack with Palmon first and not the Imperial Dramon. Um, but he's just going to Digivolve Agumon, Digivolve Stingmon, 
and yeah you can just see the amount of Digimon he's going to yeah so he's going to actually just attack with Imperial Digimon I guess he wanted to leave the Palmon like I would have attacked with Palmon first and then if he blocked it if I blocked it then you know it would have been very good for my opponent but he's just going to end up losing that Imperial Digimon to the Chaos Mon that was extremely lucky and then he's just going to Digivolve Kabuterimon and then Pyildramon leaving me with three memory. So then I'm going to draw and then bring out that Salamon. Now I do have three uh, security here so I sh probably should have just attacked with Salamon. He, he would have blocked it though but I would have gotten recovery plus one just from that interaction. And then I could go or I could go Anjouamon over the Gatomon and then just get a free yeah. So I'm just going to do that and then draw one and then get recovery plus one leaving me at four security and then now i do uh, th here's the thing i have five digimon but i don't really want to waste like the sal oh, i can't attack with the leftmost salamon now like i could but it'd be a waste and then now he's got the imperial Dramon and d leaving him a three memory or sorry zero memory and then running into that war Greymon, and then he is going to restand it because of the imperial because of the pile Dramon. i'm sorry guys lots of lots of card names i'm getting confused He's going to restand it with a Pyle Dramon and then attack again. And now he's going to play the Palmon. Now I have a lot of options and I got to do something. Unfortunately, I'm just not seeing a level 6 here. I am I am running 8, I think. No, 9. I'm running 9 level 6s uh, in this deck and I just am not drawing into them. If I did, I could put down Chaos Mon and then this would just be a... You know, I, I could probably win, honestly. But, so I'm going to attack with the Salmon. Um, he is going to block it, which I expected. I'm going to actually draw one from the Upamon and then get recovery uh, plus one with the Salamon effect. So leaving me at three security. And I did draw a card, which is nice. I'm just going to attack the with the Andromon. And then I'm actually going to kill the Palamon as well because I do have the inherited effects from both Salamon and Gatamon. So that is awesome. Um, and then I believe I do have the Labramon as well, so I'm going to now Digivolve Gatamon, draw another card. I'm really just trying to get to some, like, level 6s. I, like, legit just need those, and I can take this game, because I could get rid of that Imperial Dramon. So, you know, Sirenmon might be a good play, um, but then the Magna Andromon is pretty solid as well, because that'll leave him at one memory, and I'll still get to draw a card. Um, so I finally do draw a Magna Dramon, which now, if I had put down Siren Mon instead, I could have gone Magna Dramon as well in that turn. The next turn, I could have gone Chaos Mon. Um, however, I couldn't have known. Like, that would have been me, like, big branding and be like, alright, I have to get a level 6 off of the top deck right now. Uh, but there's just no way I could have known that. So I, I figured, like, leaving him at one memory was the best play. So he's just going to get rid of, like, all my cards, right? And then attack, attack again, and then attack a third time. Um, with, uh, you know, with both he has Imperial Dramon's effect where he can restand himself if he kills something and then he can uh, make him active with the Pyle Dramon. But he's just going to leave me with my one memory so I can't even put down Magna Dramon. So like if I did put down that Magna Dramon, just knowing somehow I got off the top deck, I probably could have won this. But there's no way of me knowing. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> you guys can decide. But anyways, so I'm just going to, uh, you know, have my field set up and nothing's gonna come with that um but yeah that's gonna be game because you can just attack next turn um so yeah guys if you did enjoy this video um go ahead hit that like button and subscribe if you do want more digimon content um and that is going to be the end of it thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time